This is the same type of problem. We've got given 32 moles of argon. This is our given. And they want to know how many liters. So we want to know liters. The only thing is it's written a little different. They've asked you a question, how many liters would be occupied by 32.0 moles of argon gas? Find what you're given. And this is actually not liters. I want to say what we want. We want to find this. We have this. We want this. So we just set it up. We put our given 32.0 moles. And it's argon gas. But that really doesn't matter here because we're dealing with a gas. Any gas is going to occupy 22.4 liters. And we want to know liters is our final answer. So to get rid of my moles here, I'll need moles on the bottom, and I want liters, so I need liters on top. Go back to our conversion factor, one mole of any gas is 22.4 liters. Moles cancels out, so we're just taking 32.0 times 22.4 liters, and we'll have liters, so it's 32.0 times 22.4, and that ends up to be 716.8 liters see if that makes sense. 32 moles is quite a few mole and if each mole is about 20 liters, 20 times 32 is over 600. So this 716 number, that makes sense. I think it, it fits well. So here we ended up multiplying. As the moles canceled out, we ended with the 22.4 liters on the top and we did end up with liters as our unit that were left over.